Magnitude 8.8 earthquake put much of the world on edge last night. This appears to be the strongest earthquake anywhere in the world since 2011. While the earthquake originated in Russia, people all across the Pacific faced tsunami warnings. In Hawaii, people were ordered to seek higher ground. The waves reaching the islands this morning, flooding parking lots and harbors. The largest ones off the coast of Maui measured about six feet high. Foot tall waves reaching Oregon and Washington state. Tsunami advisories in both states have since been canceled. Well, to get a sense of just how powerful this earthquake was, it even registered on seismographs here in Kentucky. Our first alert meteorologist Ben Bedos explaining how this is even possible in a story that's near five. A 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake off the coast of Russia triggered tsunami warnings for Alaska, Hawaii, and parts of the West Coast. It was not felt by humans here in Kentucky, but seismographs still registered it in our area. We operate very sensitive seismometers. So even though people in Kentucky would not have felt this earthquake, uh, our sensors can do that because they're so sensitive. For an earthquake of this magnitude, one that is tied for the sixth strongest ever measured on Earth, waves will even travel multiple times. They do travel around the Earth, and some seismic waves from earthquakes that are large enough actually travel around the Earth several times. And so we can see them travel past and then even go around the world and come back again. It's these waves that create a movement on the ocean floor and send potential trouble miles and miles away. That fault uh, created uplift in the ocean floor due to the type of uh, break in the earth that happened. And that uplift produces, uh, in this case, it, it produced tsunami waves. And those tsunami waves travel outwards and they can affect areas all around the Pacific Rim. As these waves travel, they spread out and lose amplitude. For big enough events like this, they can actually help seismologists in the future. For such a large earthquake so far away with such strong signal, um, I should be seeing very similar signals on all my instruments. And so if I see deviations, I can then calibrate them to prepare for a large earthquake uh, that can actually affect Kentucky. In Lexington, I'm Ben Beddoes, WKYT. The earthquake off the coast of Russia was the strongest earthquake since the 9.0 earthquake in Japan 14 years ago.